Now, I know it's been a while since we've been doing some building because I've been focusing on this dang legacy challenge that's it's ruining my life. No, it's not ruining my life. I just have like a weird love-hate relationship with it because it takes four hours to film because I'm trying to get it done in 10 parts. But then I love doing it at the same time. It's really weird. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I thought I should do a build video to break it up a little bit. So today I thought we'd do a glam apartment build. I love doing a glam apartment. Apartment, and we're gonna be using an amazing, I think it's a three part CC pack by Harry, which is their Octave pack. So some of you guys might've already seen it. It's really, really good. And I've been waiting for all three parts to come out to review it properly. Um, so get a coffee, tea, something. I'm actually having bone broth, which I know sounds a bit icky, but it's really, really good for your gut. So if anyone's interested in gut healing, this is where it's at. I feel like I've I've kind of become like a, a simmer who talks about health on their channel and the two of them really do not go together <laughs> at all. We just do what we do here. So right now we're in San Myshuno. This is the financial apartment building or financial sector, whatever it's called. And what I love about this apartment is all of these massive windows along basically one side of the building. So this is the original floor plan. I think I'm just gonna complete completely delete it all. We're gonna knock it all down, which I know will make some of you guys go, oh my lord, how did you, how could you do that? Oh, interesting, what? In the mood fireplace, a flirty vibe radiates from this beautiful fireplace in this apartment. The landlord won't allow this fireplace to be removed or sold. What? I did not ever know this was here. I mean, it is a beautiful fireplace. How do we unlock this to use, like, it must be in live edit mode or something. That's wild. Okay, so let me get some lighting in here. That's the first thing. And I guess this is kind of the new way that I'm liking to review CC packs, like actually using them in a build instead of just going through all the items. I mean, what do you guys prefer? Do you like seeing them being used? I kind of think we could review packs this way as well. Um, cause it's fun to just start building with them. You know what I mean? Now I'm actually not sure if any flooring or wallpaper comes with this Octave collection. I'll have a quick look. Oh, we do. We have some plain plaster, uh, which is perfect for this apartment building. That's actually very beautiful and it comes. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got some like more stripey versions of this full wallpaper versions. Oh man, there's many, there's many versions. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh God, there's even this modern plaster version. Okay, and then we've also got these parquet trim flooring. Oh, I see. So this probably would ideally go around the herringbone perhaps. You know, one thing, being in Australia, there's not many like really historical classic buildings around. I mean, of course there are, there are lots of them but not com it's really not comparable to like Europe and places like that. So sometimes I do feel like I'm not great with the older style of flooring and wallpapers. I think what I'm gonna do is restart the game with only the Octave CC or only the Harry CC, just to avoid any confusion with downloading stuff. Okay, that's much easier. Now we can see basically just Hey Harry packs. I've kept the Brutalist bathroom in here as well because it's that way we can also make the bathrooms look really, really good. Um, and Octave doesn't have a bathroom part to it, I don't think. So thinking about a floor plan. So this is our entrance right here. It's always nice to have a bathroom next to the entrance, I think, in apartment buildings. Oh, I just realized we're on the other side of the building. This was, we were on this side before with the, the special fireplace. Oh, well, we'll just work on this side. I think this is better anyway. And then this side, all of in here is windowless, which kind of sucks. Cause you don't want to like have a room here because there'll be no windows in it. <laughs> so we're going to have to be clever. Maybe this could even be like, like kitchen, butler's pantry, kitchen, dining. So bedroom, wardrobes here, big, massive ensuite, very luxurious. This is the entrance with the little bathroom here. I'm thinking kitchen over here. This could be an office, perhaps. This could be another bedroom over on this side with their bathroom here. I mean, it's a little bit of a bizarre floor plan, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it look gorgeous. 
as we always do. So we have these really beautiful glass doors. Oh, and double door versions of it too. So they're available in every wall height. Oh my goodness. And there's also these stunning open doors, which I love. So maybe we have closed doors here going into the bedroom area. Dramatic double doors to the lounge area. One of the great parts to the octave packs are that there's lots and lots of like gorgeous modern lights. So I think we're gonna have fun putting those in a bit later once we start putting all the furniture in. There's also some stunning fireplaces. Um, we're gonna use more color in this build for sure, but I just wanna kind of start off with a little bit of experimenting. Like maybe this could be an office with a fireplace. I feel like a dining room could have a fireplace. We could, heck, we can just have fireplaces everywhere. Can do maybe a more modern one in there. And I suppose even bedrooms have fireplaces traditionally, don't they? Um, and in expensive homes, you know, you can have a fireplace if you want. So heck, we'll put one in there as well. Fireplaces everywhere. Now I didn't realize that there were actual wardrobes in this pack too, because I was gonna do built-in wardrobes, but what we can actually do is just maybe place these in. And using the alt key, I might actually like fully line them up. We're actually getting someone to work on our wardrobe soon. I think in about three weeks and we have three wardrobes to be completely ripped out and redone. And the guy said it's only going to take him one day. A one day, like how is that possible? I don't know, I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, so wardrobe's there, wardrobe's over on the other one. Oh my God, I'm so excited by all of this. There's also this wooden like panel. I don't know, is this meant to go with the bed? Or is it like a ceiling detail? I suppose we can use it for whatever we want. There's also some really cute bookshelves that have lots of hidey holes in them. They look like this. And then for taller wall heights, which we have, you can use them as a modular shelf. And I mean, it's gonna be interesting to fill up all of these since we've removed all the other CC, but hopefully some Maxis items work. And then what's really cute is you can put these ladders on there, um, including like a little bit of railing. So they're ladders to slide across the shelves. Isn't that awesome? So we'll have a bed in here. Maybe we can make this like the pink room. I mean, part of me kind of is tempted to go for the darker colors. Maybe we should go a notch down for our flooring. Cause you know, I often sit with the comfortable lighter timbers. Let's go a little dark, like a mid tone. Uh, these are a classic piece to put at the end of a bed. You see this so much in interior design magazines and in, like staging for different houses that are being sold. House staging is when they basically furnish the house for the purpose to sell it. So it always looks like really perfect and nice. Oh, little light switches. Okay, maybe for the other bedroom, we'll do a different color and this more basic looking bed. Well, I'm really glad we made room for an office so we can test out some of these bookshelves. We could have actually back here where there's no windows made a fully enclosed library. Now I understand why so many old wealthy homes have libraries just to fill up <laughs> the space probably. We could do a fun yellow library or actually, you know what would look good? We could color block this. Oh my God, they've even done the bookshelf outer corners. Harry does everything. This is also nice, there's a three tile desk, which does look very spectacular. Beautiful desk chair as well. Okay, let's turn this into a magnifique pink bedroom. And it is fun, we can use this uh, wallpaper to style it a little bit more. Oh wow, it's so pretty. I think I wanna put like a wood feature on some of the walls too, maybe this one or eco lifestyle. Oh my God, there's so many options that can work. Even this one, which is from the Island Park works. Quite surprising. And in here, you're going to have green walls. Maybe we can use the modern options for this room just to change it up a bit and experiment. We love experimenting. Whoa, that's cool. 
Oh my lord, this is so awesome. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, I love like the black on black with the black door. Maybe we continue this uh, black theme. The only thing that might be missing, I think, is a good rug. Like, I know Harry has great rugs in other packs, but if you're doing what I'm doing and that's like basically only using this pack, then I feel like I just need a rug to finish it off. This is fun too. This is like a radiator. Mm -hmm. I like that little industrial element. That is, that is really cool. Let's see, what rugs do I have? Will this one work in here? Oh yeah, that look, that looks actually beautiful in this room. This is from the Maximalist kit, if you're interested. A uh, bit of a shame this fireplace is sitting on the, the window, but it's okay. And I think this actually comes in a green. So, oh, it doesn't quite work with the walls. It's just a little bit too vibrant, I think. I mean, this is a good big base game one. Whoa, this would cost so much in real life. Rugs are really expensive. I go this eco rug. Oh, this is a gorgeous mirror we can put in the corner over here. Oh my gosh, this painting is so pretty. <gasps> I love these. I want these in real life. Wow. You know what? I might size it down for this room. It's looking a little too grand. Oh, some nice block table lights. It's terrifying in the best way possible how good this pack is. Like it's just made so beautifully. I wonder what this would look like above the bed just as like a feature, you know? I'm not sure this is how it's intended to be used, but it might look kind of cool. These are acoustic wooden panels. So I think it's to just soundproof the rooms. That's still cool. Or I know what you're thinking. The other option is to just make a bed head out of them. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. You can do whatever the heck you want. I think that looks really cool. At this point in time, I really wish I had my other CC curtains because we really need kitchen long transparent curtains here. Although we can use these Maxis ones. This is from the wedding pack, I think. That's quite nice. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it's totally uneven. I think we're better off just kind of putting dine out curtains on either end maybe not having that next to a curtain and maybe we'll move this to like over here okay this is looking amazing let's straighten up these lights now because we've got a lot of black over here it would be nice to kind of link in the other side of the room by having a dark desk over here you see how that like links the two sides of the room together and similarly if we wanted to put green over here we could do like a greeny glass color to tie in the other side of the room. So that's just like a good little design hint. If you ever need to like br bring a sense of unity to a space it and in real life, not just Sims, you know, we can do that too with the fireplace here instead, even though the black on black looks really good, we could kind of bring in the other side of the room by making it a little bit lighter like that, or even bring it into the floor with the brownie color. This is a lamp from Harry's Stockholm. Also these city living armchairs kind of work with it's very contemporary smooth aesthetic. So let's maybe put a couple of these in the bedroom and create like a little sitting space. Okay, I think that bedroom's done and I think it looks pretty nice. Now from memory, don't these dine out curtains come in a pinky color? Oh yeah, perfect. So we can probably make use of this like that. Another one here. I'm personally not a huge fan of TVs in rooms, but I know some people love them. So maybe you could put a TV here. Now we have a lot more living space in this bedroom. Like this would be the main master bedroom. So we can actually put like a proper couch in here, I think. And this is really cool. Like maybe this type of deal. Do we want to go the pink or are we, I think we might be pushing the pink a little too hard. We could go this um, beigey color because it ties in with the curtains or we could grab a color from the rug. That's always a really good way to work is grabbing colors that you see in the rug. Oh, or we could do like a two-tone type of deal. Oh wait, wouldn't it make more sense to have the TV wall mounted here like this? 
Okay, that would probably make more sense than having the TV right here. Some of the best custom content plans you can get is from the Harry Brutalist bathroom pack. Like these are just so awesome. Oh, this also goes with the uh, Ottoman. Interesting. Ooh, I like this. This goes to the side of the couch maybe. I need one of these in real life. That is such a beautiful bedroom. I love it so much. I want to live here, please. Most important thing to do is save. Let's have a bit of fun with this room and maybe go for like the cobalt blue color. Oh, bummer. It doesn't come as like a higher or full solid color blue. Maybe in the modern version it does. Go to cobalt blue. No, we don't. Bummer. Oh, well, that's okay. Maybe we just make all of the shelving this blue color. I mean, if we really wanted to commit to this theme, we could go blue carpet. Whoa, now that's cool, but it just doesn't go with the rest of the house. This would be like full maximalist house and it would look really good. I mean, I think the best we can probably do is like double up the carpet. I mean, it's a little theatrical in here. Oh my God, that is so brilliant. Obsessed. Oh, I totally forgot we have to fill up all of these little hidey holes. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, I've deliberately left some of these empty because I also don't want to like overclutter the shelves, which can sometimes happen. Like sometimes it's a good idea to just leave a little, a little bit of space. Oh my God, but now I'm addicted. I'm like, I have to fill them all up. <laughs> but no, that looks pretty good. Pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty sturdy. Oh, we could even do like the gold ladder. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot that we can put cushions on this couch. I place them by holding Alt to rotate. And also another good thing is you can size them down using the bracket keys. And then, you know, you can put like a smaller cushion in front of the other cushion. Um, and that can look really cute. And you can use the nine key to lift them up. And there you go, nice little, uh, little cushion set there. Makes it all looked very lived in. Have you ever noticed that every single like rich home has a circular table at the front entrance? I've never been able to figure out like why this is. I think it's just if the house is so big and there's this big entrance room, it's literally like, well, what do we put in the middle of the room? <laughs> Let's just get a big round table and put like an impressive bunch of flowers or photographs on it. Now that I've mentioned it to you, you will notice it all the time. I guarantee it. Okay, I feel like we started off with pastels in the bedrooms. And now since the office, we've gone into this like really different color scheme, which I'm not sure if I like it, to be honest. Like, I feel like it doesn't go with the rest of the house. So I don't know, I might, I'll, I'll just go ahead with it because this is also just experimenting to show off the custom content pack. But I think if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't, I'd probably keep it more streamlined. But hey, some of you guys might really like it. Okay, very nice entrance room here. Oh, we need something in this corner, don't we? Why don't we do this armchair? This is by Harry as well from Shop the Look. Uh, not sure which one, but one of them. It's quite nice, I thought. All right, so main bedroom done. Oh my gosh, we have so much to go. So one of my favorite things that Hey Harry has done, or Harry, I think they rebranded, is the Brutalist bathroom pack, or bath. The Brutalist bathroom pack. I keep getting it confused with bathroom, another pack they did. Um, but this is just so good. Like, oh, I love it so much. This is like one of the packs you should get, even if you're not into getting much CC. Like if you just have a little, a little bit here and there, you dabble in the CC. This is definitely one to be getting. It's also beautifully versatile in what you can do with all the different pieces. And y'all know me, you know I love me some brutalist bathroom stuff. This is looking cool. I really am. Um, I'm enjoying experimenting with this modular looking sofa. It's lots of fun. There's just so many different ways you can play around with it, you know? You could even have like parts of the couch that are white or cream. Oh wow, this is a big TV, folks. <laughs> it's huge. You know, I think I went too small maybe on the couch. I'm not used to, you know, having lounge rooms this huge. <laughs> like imagine if you really lived here. 
Okay, is this epic or is this epic? This is such a cool lounge room. Ooh, we can put in another one of these bookshelves just here. That ladder is just really the cutest thing. Another really nice part of this, uh, I keep going to call it a kit, but nice part of this pack is that there's this little vintage record player and there's also a audio system. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Harry said this was based on an audio system their father has. So that's really, I mean, for one, if this exists real life, it's pretty stunning. Um, very impressive system. Oh, we probably don't need two of these, do we? Let's maybe put this one in the office. Actually, I wonder, oh no, it probably doesn't fit on that shelf. Lucky this desk is so big. And that also means that a lot of these bookshelf decor pieces are records. And that's a really nice and easy way to fill up all the shelves. I'm personally not a fan of the Buchel, or Buchle, Michael Buchle trend. <laughs> Just practically speaking, I think it's a nightmare of a fabric if you wanted to clean it, if it's like white, like a white Buchle armchair. I'd rather not have to clean that, thanks. <laughs> But I guess if you're the type of person who's like super neat, you don't have messy pets or kids, I suppose like you can enjoy keeping things like that nice and clean. But I know I would absolutely destroy a white boucle chair. And if it wasn't me, it'd probably be Bowser. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm more likely to ruin stuff than Bowser is, let's be honest. This is such a stunning lounge room. It does use up a lot of the space though. Like this, I could see this maybe being a little bit too cluttered for some players liking, which you could just get rid of this back area, you know, but it's just so nice for the Sims to be able to sit there and look at the view if they don't want to look at the TV. Oh, and I feel like this could be a great spot for one of the paintings. Let's pop this there. Now what color scheme? The orange could be good. Um, get a little pop of different color. I think we've done too much olive now. I'm done with the olive. Oh, we could do a bit of red. Yeah, I think that little hint of orange or the red would be nice. You know what? Let's do the orange. It's just that little bit less intense. And I also like the idea of having a lower light here and a higher light here. I think that looks kind of cool as well. So last of all, we have the kitchen area and the dining room. Okie dokie. Well, maybe let's have a little thinky dink about what colored kitchen cabinets we want to use. Cause a lot of these are kind of like a really interesting metal looking texture. Some of them even have an ombre, a mix of stone tops. Then there's also wooden ones. I mean, this house would suit a black kitchen, which I usually steer away from, but I do think it would look good here. I can hear you guys saying, yeah, do a black kitchen deli. Although the brown, the brown metal looks really cool as well. Ooh, what about a gold kitchen? Guys, I think we have to do the gold. I'm just struggling to find which one of these has the gold swatch. Oh, those were the wooden ones, got it. So this is the kitchen island. This is the regular count. And I bet we could maybe do black and gold. I actually know if that swatch is there. So maybe we just do this. Oh my gosh, I remember what I originally was going to do. I was going to turn this bit into like a butler's kitchen. But the thing is, cause I've just realized how enormous the scale is. We could actually put a wall here and this could be the butler's kitchen. Although I just don't think we have enough room. <laughs> so maybe it's just gonna have to be all open. I know, can you believe me saying, I don't think there's enough room. So I'm thinking we do something like this and then we have these coming around the corner. Oh, I think there might be something odd going on with this corner. Oh, <laughs> I think I've got the island pieces. That's what's happening. I was thinking what is going on here, but don't worry, we got it. It's nice how you have both drawer pieces and other pieces. Ooh, I like this appliance holder. I mm -mm -mm. wonder if we need two of those. So we have the option of putting in here an oven and a coffee machine. Okay, so two of these looks really good. Are we still feeling the gold? Or is the gold kind of, I don't know, now I'm questioning this. I really love the brown too. Like I actually think I prefer the brown. Am I making you cry right now? 
I hope not. Okay, I just had to add some more money to our budget because we'd already spent so much. This is an expensive build, everybody. Gorgeous. Mm, we can go gold sink. Oh, I forgot about all of these counters. Oopsie doopsies. Okay, what do we think of this? I think it's, I think it's cute. I think I need to play around with the wallpaper a little bit, but it's definitely coming along. Oh, another cool thing is the desk can be used as the dining table. Should we do the smoky top of the table? Ooh, I like that. That's cool. I'm not sure if there was actually any dining chairs that came with this pack, so we'll use um, some Max's ones. I mean, I do love the ghost chairs. And they come in a smoky black too, so that could actually work quite well and look a little bit fashionable. That is actually really sick. Um, also, these down lights, don't know what's happening with these. And I just realized like we have so much space here. Like this is, oh, we could do a double island. You know how like in LA, is it LA homes? I mean, I guess homes all around the world, but you see them in a lot of Beverly Hill homes. They have like a double island situation. Personally, I think this is just way too much, but hey, some people like it. And I just feel like it, it just is a bit of a shame to look at. What we're probably going to have to do is move the dining table to here and then have another sitting area, I think. Um, that'll probably make the most sense. This looks so sick. I mean, look how cool it, all of the reflections look. I love the plasticky, shiny, shiny 90s kids toy textures. I, it must be from growing up in the 90s, I think. This light's from the Maximalist kit, pretty cool. And these laundry day rugs are so handy. Now I may need to get a little bit more creative over here because I do feel like this space isn't really working and that's always tricky to figure it out. Okay, thankfully it's coming together now. This is a shop the look coffee table. And actually, why don't I put that in this room so it's different to this table? You know what I mean? Like that just makes a little bit more sense and then we can move these chairs in just a touch. All right, you guys, it's all finished. So let's take a look at our work and uh, see if our Sim likes it as well. So this is the corridor. Corridor doesn't look as fancy as the apartment, I might add, but here we go. This is the entrance room. I think one of those lights were a little bit crooked, but yeah, very nice entrance. And there are double doors that go into the kitchen living area. Whoa, we'll take a look in there in just a second. But first of all, let's go into this incredible office. Imagine that view. And this is definitely a lot brighter. It's a little bit more fun um, with the blues and the yellows. I mean, why not make the workspace fun, hey? Beautiful mountains. I love this bookshelf, this wall. This bookshelf is so cool. Um, that's just so pretty. I kind of love that room. And then through here is our very light, bright and pastel master bedroom. So it could almost be a completely different apartment in here. Um, we've got this beautiful muted bathroom. I'm just trying to really show the different packs in the different ways you could probably use them. So this is the brutalist bathroom pack with a double shower, very nice. Over here, this is the master bedroom lounge area. Very pretty. Then we have a full row of wardrobes over there and the four poster bed, which is nice. It's all, uh, all very fancy. That full poster bed is absolute goals. And then the bathroom next to the front door, I just made it very similar to that front entrance room. So it's just very dark and clean. Moving into the dining and kitchen area, this is very white and bright. I think in real life, this would look really good. Maybe in The Sims, it could be a little boring. I don't know, you tell me, but I personally really like it. And I've put a little fridge in the corner there. I actually forgot a bin. That's one thing I could have added. And then we have the dining room. We've got our fun speaker system. And then this was a little bit tricky figuring out what to do with this area. But in the end, it was just a nice space for another sitting area, maybe a more casual sitting area. Um, but yeah, looking from the other side, I think it looks pretty neat. Very classy indeed. 
And then in we go into the more rumpus lounge area, entertainment rooms. So we've got the TV, you've got double lounges. This room is actually huge. Um, it's all very big and like open plan living, but I think this is beautiful with the olive lounge. It's a little bit more cozy in here. The other room was quite fresh looking, which is kind of good for in a place where you're eating and cooking. But yeah, this is a little bit more cozy over here. Lots of space to sit. And then through here we have, oh, love that little side table in between. And then in here we have the second bedroom. Let me know in the comments down below which bedroom you prefer, whether you like the pink or the green. It's got a nice desk there. I think I kind of like this one because I like the lighter woods and I also like the back with the timber as well. But then again, I'm not into the black walls as much, but I know some of you guys love that. And then through here is the bathroom. This bathroom's really cool. I really like this. And this is from the Brutalist Bathroom CC pack. So I guess you just need, um, I'll put this up on the gallery, but yeah, you'll need the Hey Harry Octave collection. So all three parts the Harry Brutalist bathroom, and there was one shop, The Look, I downloaded too. So that's only for a few pieces though. I don't think it'll be that noticeable if you don't download that, but it's things like the wooden bowl and stuff like that. But oh my gosh, I love this house so much, or this apartment. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll put it under my username, Deligracy. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag! Maybe.